So uh, let's go deeper. The basic idea of finite element is to divide the problem, big problem into small parts, which is called discretization or mesh. So each of these regions is called finite element. And that is how you, you have this uh, term called finite element analysis. You are analyzing a finite part, a uh, finite element uh, uh, to, to run the simulations. Okay, so with that said, so let's take an element. So we, we had divided the big part into number of elements. Now just taking one element. Uh, so uh, let's say this is one element which is formed with three nodes the points by which an element is formed is called nodes so in this case we can say this one on the left top is the triangular element on the right is a, a, a rectangular element so that is how uh, from, from uh, based on the number of nodes elements are formed and uh, you have the big big picture later okay so now taking one specific node uh, uh, this specific node has an ability to move in any direction. In the sense, it, it can actually translate in X, Y, or Z direction, or it can even rotate in X, Y, and Z direction. So a node has an ability to move in any direction, and that is what degrees of freedom is. It is the ability to, of a node to move in any direction. So uh, as I mentioned, there are six uh, different possible degrees of freedom. Which, which would be three translation and three rotation. So once uh, we know the degrees of freedom, the, uh, that would define the displacement of the node. So it would it will help us understand, okay, where does this uh, node move? And we can find the displacement. Uh, we can even know the rotation. If we know that, finite element method determines the solution based on uh, the, the results you have here, which is uh, the displacement. So with the displacement, uh, that's how ANSYS uses uh, to determine stress, strain, and all of the steps. So this is how a structure of a finite element analysis looks. So in a big picture, how do, what, what are the steps involved in ANSYS? So we have pre-processing, analysis, and post-processing. So pre-processing is a step where we try to build the model. So let's say we actually build the model from the scratch uh, using the design model. You have an option of designing uh, pretty uh, good parts, but maybe if you want to do some complex parts, you'll have to use design uh, softwares, try to import them. So uh, once you have the model, you'll have to let answers know what type of analysis is this. So it's the structural transient and all different type, uh, uh, analysis, uh, give some element type and uh, let ants know what is the material properties, what type of material are you gonna use? Uh, so uh, so uh, two important material properties which come which we come across are poisons ratio and modulus of elasticity. We'll talk more on it uh, uh, to give you more insight on these material properties. And then comes the analysis where we try to generate the nodes, where we try to divide the big, stru big structure into small, small parts, uh, generate nodes, apply some boundary conditions, loading to it, and finally we have this post-processing where we get the results. So the results can be uh, deformation, stress, strain, temperature, uh, natural frequency, etc. So as a whole, this is how your answer structure will look like. With that said, uh, Let's actually look at uh, uh, from the scratch. We'll, we'll try to understand what is that we can do in ANSYS workbench. So here is a uh, model for you. Uh, you have a, a plate with the hole uh, uh, with the irregularity on it. Mm -hmm.